right, hello everybody, welcome back. This is Hazel the Basement Dweller here. And, uh, kind of shocking to me because it's like super late at night when I'm recording this, but, uh, Marie came out today and I literally just heard. Or the alpha for Marie, I should say. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a look at Marie. This is my first time hopping on the game. Like, I just installed the update. So this is going to be a, a full, fresh reaction to Marie. Um, and before we get into the game, I'm gonna open the the Steam tab. And I'm gonna open the the Steam page and the other tab, just so I can kind of read some of this because there's some stuff here that I, I do think is pretty interesting. Uh, a, apparently, according to the update notes, Marie is complete. Like she she needs to be cleaned up animation wise, but everything works. She has all of her moves, all of her voice acting, and all of her sound effects already, which is very interesting. Um, and then she's got, let's see, she's got 19 color palettes, 18 right now, color palette 7 is the story mode palette, and as of right now is a dupe of her original palette, uh, and then she has a new stage and a theme song for her stage, and then there's some, like, visual changes, uh, the only other things that came out this update is they made a quick match change, if you decline a match in quick match, or a quick match change, I think I said that, uh, if you decline a match in quick match, uh, or if you match with a player and, like, you finish a set with them, uh, they disable you matching with that player for a couple of minutes to help player variety, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, if you kick a player from a lobby, kicked players can no longer immediately join a lobby, which is also cool. Uh, and then Marie has some character-specific voice lines that are used against the boss fight Marie that they're going to use for playable Marie. And that's about it. So we're going to hop right in. According to them, this is fully completed Marie, so we're going to try to listen to some of the voice lines, look at the animations, uh, go through her kit, give my kind of like an overview. Uh, Marie! I am the last girl. Nice. She is the last skull girl. Alright. Ooh, cool map. And cool soundtrack. Alright. So we're just gonna go over, like, everything I noticed, because there's not really, like, a list of shit Marie does. Oh, it's... Na, 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 It's the fucking Skullgirls theme. That's so cute. Oh, she has an interesting combo state chart. Cool tag and animation. Sprint. Yep, so a sprint, regular backdash, decently fast. Her sprint looks like it has like a little acceleration curve. Oh, so if you tap it, you get the little the little hop and the dash. Does she have an air dash? No. She has a double jump. She does not have any air dashes. Okay. Uh, let's look at normals first. So we're gonna do buttons in order, starting with punches and then kicks. So light. It's a little rug cleaner. It's kind of slow, honestly. Seven frames. That's cute. That scales like crazy, but that's super funny. <laughs> so let's crouch light. Jump light. A lot of multi-hits, I'm noticing. Um, media punch. Ooh. That's a really cool animation. Just slaps you with a rug. Oh, the rug has different designs on it. Go away, welcome. And then I saw the skull heart symbol on it. That's cute. And then heavy. That's a weird looking normal. Oh, it pulls them in. Her animation style looks very different from all the other characters. It's kind of intriguing. Also, the angle she's standing at is like really weird looking. But artistically, she looks very different from a lot of the other characters. This button is also huge, by the way. Jump heavy. Oh, it's just an aerial version of that normal. And crouch up. Fuck it. The skeletons talk. She fucking DDTs a skeleton. That's a, that's a great normal. And it's a pop-up. Cool. 
uh, kicks, light kick. She kicks the vacuum. A bellow. Skeleton punch. Medium kick. Is it a launcher? No. Nice little slide for a medium kick. And... Oh! That's... Interesting. I think I accidentally just did a special move, but... So that's an interesting normal. It gives you upwards momentum. That's pretty cool. And heavy kick. That's a very familiar normal. This is a regular ass sweep. Yep. Launcher. Yep. And jump heavy kick. Can charge it. Yeah. So what does it do regularly? The comboable knockback. And then very high damage. Holy shit. That does a lot, actually. That is not what I meant to do. <laughs> it does take very long to fully charge, but it does do a lot of damage. 1560 raw is kind of nuts. Okay. So that's normals. Uh, let's see if she has any command normals. No, she does not have a single command normal. Okay. So hop to it. I believe that was the dust bunny. Yeah. It looks like you have one at a time. And the strength dictates how far you throw them. Do they have a hitbox on the way down? No. I see. Okay. So it's like a setup like combo extension tool. That's cool. Marie go round. That was her. Oh, I forgot to do her grab. Yeah. So it's the same animation for forward and back throw. Yep. And then. That's a pretty good throw animation. Cool. Uh, I was trying to see for the. Yeah, I was going to say, is this a cross up? And it is. So cross up. Medium is the punch. And heavy's like a stagger. That's a beefy ass stagger too. Holy shit. Hillguard's Haymaker. So light, medium, heavy. Okay. So it looks like they just hit in slightly different places and you can do this in the air. Hillguard's Howl. This is very persona this is very very chabris very uh asterius that's super cool and you can do this in the air too wow she yeah she has really good vertical mobility that's like really cool and suction obstruction command grab Cool. They gave Maria command grab. That's dope. Okay. Carpal pummel. That's pretty cool. Does it do anything else? Okay. That's light medium. Does it have different strengths or does it just track? Okay. So that's light medium. This is medium heavy and light heavy. Oh. Uh. Sorry, didn't set all this up. Again, this is very, very off the cuff. <laughs> it doesn't look like it actually has different distances, which is interesting. It only goes directly in front of you. So that's like a straight combo under like DHC. Repetitive skeleton impact. Okay. Choose slam direction. That's a pretty cool super. And then if you hold punch or... So one, two, three, 
two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you can just keep spending meter on that super. That does a lot of fucking damage. Jesus. Okay. Weight of our will. I, I have seen weight of our will. This is a spirit bomb. Literally a spirit bomb. Does it have a hitbox on the way down? Yeah. Super cool. And down, heavy kick, medium kick. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. So that's all of her moves. So the the move I'm most baffled about is this one. That's like super cool. Okay, the, she's kind of interesting. I just, I don't really, usually when like I, I hop on a, a new character in Skullgirls, I can kind of tell what they're supposed to do. I'm not really super particular. Like, she seems very tricky. Oh, throw with? Pretty good throw with animation. I'm trying to think of anything else I haven't seen. Because I'm trying to like see all the animations because I think it's like my favorite part about like new characters coming out. Oh, all of her whiff animations for supers. That one's regular. Looks like they're all pretty typical. She also only has three supers, which is kind of interesting. I wonder what her taunt does. So. Yeah, that's kind of... That's kind of what I assumed you would do, so... Yeah, and then you chase down stuff like that. Plus six. She doesn't have a six frame normal, but that's really cool. I don't really understand what she does, though. Uh, do I have Dust Bunny as an assist? No, I have her Heavy Punch. Uh... That is a pretty good assist. I do want to see... Oh, so, it, okay, uh, let's try that mid-screen. It's just, like, interesting stuff like this. Like, I want to see what you can do. Ah, fuck. Well, I guess I could just... Okay, so, yeah, it looks like you can't combo into this super. Uh, is this super a true command grab? Or is this a hit grab? Okay. Also, is this a... Can you break guard with this and then not commit to the command grab? No. Okay. Okay, that is a true command grab. Okay. So she has two command grabs. She has a command grab super and a regular command grab. I don't know what her taunt... Or I, yeah, I don't know what her taunt does. Spirit Bomb, you can do this anywhere on screen. What do these do on block? Do they still... They still do all their hits on block. Okay. 
okay. She's she's very interesting. This is one of those things where it's like, I, I wish I was better at this game. I I don't particularly know what she does. And I kind of like that because like it's she's very unique. So the most noticeable thing right now, this is a combo tool. Because it is very plus on hit. That is plus 52 on hit. Like, I don't really... I don't really... Again, this is one of those things where it's like, if I was better at this game, I feel like I'd be seeing the vision with this game. That's super cool. Because this is really fast. I wonder, uh, is there any invincibility on this? That's a pretty cool push block animation. Uh... No, it does not look like it's invincible, like, at all. This is so interesting. This is one of those things where it's like, I'm kind of just trying to figure out what this character does and I'm kind of loving the fact that I don't understand her. But so it looks like for the most part, she's kind of like a, a tricky rushdown character. Uh, and the only reason I say that is because she has a lot of set play. And I'm assuming you can run these as assists. Um, I actually do want to see. Yeah. I just want to see. So. Clear that. So it looks like... It looks like, for the most part, that's a really good assist. She just stays on screen for the whole time. Yeah, that is a very slow assist. Okay. So... Uh, like, obviously, I feel like you'd pick a different strength, probably medium. Or not even, actually, for, like, Peacock, right? Like, for a zoner? Yeah, I was gonna say. Interesting. So, it looks like she has really good set play assists, and she has very strong set play tools. I just don't know how well she accesses those. Because, like... I, hold on. What's what's dust money? It's fireball. I want to see. I, I want to see like proof of concept. Uh, 
just like random characters, but like. So. It looks like you can use this to go for like really ambiguous like. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like you can... Oh, does it go way faster if they're already being comboed? If I can actually, like, land a combo to save my life? Very cool burst animation, too. So, it doesn't... So, it looks like you can kind of just use it to tack a lot of damage onto the middle of combos. Although, I don't think it does that much damage on its own. Yeah, it scales the fuck out of your combo. All right. You see what I mean? Like... interesting because that's like a, it seems like a really good set play assist like for block strings just shut up You see what I mean? Like, I feel like this would be a really strong reset tool. Because of the timing at which it comes out. so interesting this, it's it's weird because i feel like i'm not talking as much as i usually do in this video but i'm like genuinely just trying to figure out what this character does again it's it, she has some very strong looking tools That does a lot of damage. Like, I know it's a level 5, but still. Oh, you see what I mean? Oh, if you hit them, they change property. Wait. Hold on. Unless I was bugging? No, you can hit them. Is it... Is it light buttons that do it? You see what I mean? Like, I, I feel like you can use it to get some really cheeky, like, combo extensions and stuff. So, she has a really high damage... Because I think, like, this... Even of its own merit. Might 
might be one of the highest damage level ones in the game. Especially for a level one that you can combo after. That that seems like a really strong level one. Especially because of how easy it is. So, pretty, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Yeah, she seems like a really good character. I, I think she feels more like an assist character than a point character. I, I'd love to see, like, Marie go around. Heavy Marie go around is probably a really good assist. Hilgard's Haymaker is a really good assist. I don't know how much, like, Dust Bunny seems weird because it scales the shit out of your combo, but it's really good on block, and it does add, like, it is a really easy to combo tool. And then obviously you can give her command grab assist if you rock with command grab assist. This super is dope. I really like this super. Um Yeah, I she's a very interesting character. And then you can can you combo off her level three? I'm assuming you can. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't really have much else to say. I I like this character a lot. I don't think I'll be playing her. I, I need to see gameplay for this character. Like, I need to see people who know what they're doing. You know what I mean? Like, I need to see people who are better at the game than me play this character because I genuinely think she's probably nasty as fuck like she probably has some dirt in her kit and I'm seeing the vision like her special moves seem like really good assists I just don't know I gotta see people play her and see how Marie combo structure is supposed to look but I think this character looks dope um that's gonna be it for now because this is already like a 30 minute long video and I didn't really talk about much <laughs> but this character is really cool um the, once the next update comes out like once the balance patch and stuff comes out we'll talk more about this character and obviously this game um, but yeah, love Skullgirls. Love that Marie is finally an alpha or beta. Um, if you guys like what you saw, remember to like, comment, subscribe, dislike it if you dislike it. And tell me if you guys are, you know, fans of Marie's kid, if you guys like what's going on here, if you don't. Um, otherwise, uh, that's about it. Really cool stage, really cool animations, really cool character. I'm excited to see what she does. Like, I want to see... I'm going to ECT this weekend, um, so I'm hoping that the locals for the, like, the friendlies for Skullgirls, people are playing a little bit of Alpha Patch, like if people bring their own laptops and stuff, because I'm really interested to see what this character does. I'm very interested to see what this character does. Um, and also, I'm going to be at ECT this weekend, so if anybody's heading out to ECT and you'd like to meet, uh, I'm going to be playing Street Fighter 6, Guilty Gear, and Street Fighter 5. Uh, if you guys want to say what's up, I'll be there all weekend. Um, but with that out of the way, hope you guys have an amazing rest of your night. A uh, great start to your day tomorrow. Uh, this is Azel the Basement Dweller, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Everybody have a good night, and bye bye